Hi everybody, so my name is Nicole and welcome to my YouTube channel. My little family where everybody is welcome and hello to anybody that is returning or that knows me. Um, one thing you might notice that's different, particularly from my very last recent videos, is that I currently have an NG tube. Um, this is because my surgical feeding tube, so I'll just show you my surgical tube. This is my surgical tube, my digostomy tube. It um, has a couple of holes in it because uh, I was given a medication that we don't believe should have went down the feeding tube. Um, so I'm currently waiting on a replacement of my digostomy tube. For anybody that is new here, so I have various chronic health problems. Most of the time my illnesses are invisible. So, you know, without the NG tube um, to go out in public, most people, if I'm having one of my better days or, you know, I'm just, I'm out and about, most people wouldn't look at me and assume that I am chronically ill which I really feel really happy about because, you know, it means that, you know, people don't kind of treat you differently or people don't stare because I've particularly noticed with having the NG tube that, you know, people people look at you and people stare. Um, it's not normally in a malicious way or anything like that. It's just, it's unusual to see. And, you know, a lot of people have never seen sort of a feeding tube before. So yeah, this is a NG tube. It's a um, feeding tube. And I have two conditions that cause me to be sick after what I eat and drink most of the time. And um, this just kind of helps me get the nutrition and fluids I need that's, you know, I otherwise can't get orally properly um, without making myself quite unwell with it. And also it helps me just take my medication, which is great. So after this really long intro, I will go on to the real point why I'm making this video. So today I wanted to show you guys the you know the inside of what is in this little bag so this is my handy dandy sort of medical kit that I take about with me so for anybody that has watched what's in my feeding tube backpack I did kind of a in-depth look in what was in my sort of feeding tube kit that I take out and about with me at all times this I don't take out and about at all times with me but it goes with me to hospital and and it also goes with me if I'm staying at somebody else's house or going to hotels or anything or going to be out for any allocated period of time that's longer than a few hours. So without further ado, first thing I have is this. This is just a disposable mask. So as most people will be aware, the current situation with the coronavirus pandemic in the UK is that unless you're exempt, you are required to wear a face mask in any indoor settings such as cinemas and um, walking into restaurants obviously not when you're eating and also on public transport so I just kind of keep that about with me. Next thing I have is this, this is Kevlon cream. So Kevlon cream is a barrier cream and it's really really good for helping heal damaged skin. So um, it's safe for me to use around my feeding tube area because sometimes I get kind of like peeling skin or really sore skin so it really helps with that. This is Fusidic Acid Cream. It is a antibiotic cream and I use this for if I get a little infection in my surgical feeding tube and it's a bit better than taking a lot of antibiotics, like, you know, liquid antibiotics in my case. So next I have these. These are just, oh, these are chibi pads. So um, a chibi pad, you might have seen it. This is a tubey pad, so I use them to go around my surgical feeding tube and it helps with things like granulation tissue. So granulation tissue is just extra kind of 
skin tissue that's built up in an area that kind of friction occurs, I guess would be the way to phrase it. So with, with myself and other people with feeding tubes, kind of the tube can rub on like the, your stoma, stoma it's called, um, and it can cause this little buildup of extra tissue, which can bleed and can be quite sore. So tubey pads can help with that as well as help with discharge so you don't get on your clothes or anything. So these are, these are some tubey clips. So tubey clips are great for keeping your feeding tube giving set. So the giving set, oh, hold on, sorry. The giving set is this bit. So this is the feeding tube and this is the giving set. So essentially the giving set runs from the feed into the machine and it also links to the feeding tube. So to give you an example, I'll just stick it anywhere so I could put it up here. Okay, and what I would do is just open the little clips and I can put the giving set just for example here. And what that kind of means is that if your feeding tube line does happen to get tugged such as this, you know, it's less likely to actually tug on the tube itself because that can actually be really quite sore. Next, I have oh, these. So these are just dextrose glucose tablets. So due to my vomiting issues, I do have problems with my blood sugars. I get low blood sugar. So I just have them about with me. I always carry quite a supply about with me. I have some sterile gauze. So I just use this to clean around my feeding tube stoma just to keep it nice and clean. And I also have these. These are sterile water. So I can use these to mix with medication to put down my feeding tube because most of my medication goes down my feeding tube. And I can also use it um, just kind of as a flush to go through my feeding tube and things. This is a spare clamp and a spare end to my surgical feeding tube. So for example, if my clamp breaks or if the end of my tube gets clogged, um, I can have a replacement, easy enough to replace. This is a spare NG feeding tube, particularly at the moment, obviously I'm in need of this. The good thing is that I am actually trained. So I was trained by my doctors in the hospital on how to insert these tubes myself. So that's very unusual, particularly in the UK, but it's great because it actually means that I don't have to go to hospital as much, which is fantastic because, um, you know, it's not really a place I want to be at all. So, you know, I just have a spare one of these. So I have some um, dressings. So this is just a me pour dressing. It's just kind of like a soft type dressing. Don't really know how else to um, describe it. And I can put that around my feeding tube. This is a Confield dressing, again, feeding tube. That's another me pour dressing. And this is a geoderm dressing. So geoderm can be used for a lot of different things. It's really, really good for the skin and things like that. And it really helps heal kind of damage to the skin. So at the moment, what I'm using the geoderm for is to wrap around my surgical feeding tube where the hole is. And I change it every couple of days. And, you know, it's actually helping stopping one of the holes leaking at least. And finally, I just have these. So these are called High Five Sports Nutrition Energy Gel and these are just the apple flavor. Um, so these are, these contain quite a bit of sugar, like uh, sugar essentially glucose so these are great if I'm having a situation where I'm having a hypo so that's low blood sugar so yeah that is everything that's in my little handy dandy medical kit so um yeah thanks for joining me joining me on this video guys and I will see you guys next video bye